Hello everyone, this is Deliverest Studios. You welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the floating action button and also the snack bar. You know, these are all from the Android material design. Okay, uh will be let me just explain how the application just look like. It's a basic application. Okay, we have a floating uh button that's once once being clicked, uh it's going to populate uh, uh let's say a date and time in a list view format okay uh, at the same time while immediately after pressing the button uh there's going to be a snack bar that's going to like toast up to the screen now okay the uh item has been added successfully or can you undo this uh, uh this uh activity thereby changing it in the sense like deleting what you've done so that's just what the application is going to do so I'll be using Android Studio as my development environment, but I'm going to explain how the uh, how the processes have been done. Okay, first of all, we look at our build.gradle. Uh, that's always where we have our dependencies, our compiler SDK, our build tools, and some other uh, functionality. Okay, in our dependencies, we just have all the three major dependencies here: the J unit for testing, the Android supports app compared you know that's version 7 and we have the support design 23.1.1 all right okay i'll be moving straight to our layout activity where we have the activity underscore fab which is our floating action button example xml okay all right uh this is uh the android support design widget coordinator layout where we where is going to actually coordinate the list item okay uh it's the, the layout with an height is match parent respectively. Why the fit system windows is true. The fit system windows, let it fit the, the system screen. I call on the context, which is the FAB uh, example activity. Okay. Uh, immediately afterwards, we have another tag called the widget airbag layout. Okay. The widget airbag layout. Uh, this is where we call on the, st the theme, the style app theme, app bar overlay. Okay, the layout with an height is wrap content and match parent. Okay, we have Android support version 7 widget toolbar. Okay, this is toolbar of version 7. Okay, we give it an ID called toolbar. Uh, the parent, uh, match parent is the layout with why the height is calling on the attribute action by size. And there's a pop up theme uh, actually coming from the style of um, XML, which is the app theme pop up overlay. All right. Uh, there's a closing uh, arbor layout and also we have an include uh, we're going to include an XML here which the XML is the content underscore FAB underscore example okay all right so this particular uh, directory or a link to the layout which is this uh, XML is going to be populated within this uh, particular portion okay uh, immediately afterwards uh, we're going to call on the Android support design widget floating action button. Okay, this is the action button which we are uh, putting emphasis on the actual button and also the snack bar. All right, we assign an ID to this called Fab. Okay, the height, the layout with an height is wrap content respectively. Where the gravity is bottom uh, and also end, so it's going to come to the bar to slightly to the bottom of, of, uh, of the UI. Okay. Uh, we actually uh, assign a drawable to it, which is the plus sign, which is actually, you can find it in the drawable, uh, IC underscore add underscore entry. All right. Now we close it up with our coordinator layout, our closing tag. Uh, that's fine. So let's look at the content FAB example that was included. This is a relative layout, okay? Uh, with a layout with height, match parent, padding bottom, padding left, right, padding top, uh, 16 DPs. Or we have the layout behavior and also the context, which is going to be calling from the FAB example activity. All right, there's a list view uh, in it whereby we have the layout with match parent, right? Match parent, and also we assign an ID to it, which is list view. We have the layout center vertical, and we have the layout center resulta. All these are set to true. Okay. All right, let's move to our Java class. We have only one Java class here, which is the FAB example activity. Okay, in our FAB example activity, 
uh, we have a, an import. We have some imports we've done. All right. We, are, we actually imported the design widget floating action button. We imported the widget uh, snack bar. Okay. Uh, the app compact activity, which is version seven, and the widget two bar as well. Okay. We also imported the widget area adapter and also the list view, uh, the simple date format, a list, uh, date and locale, locale, whether. Okay, we have FAB example activity extends our component activity. Okay, we have an array list, a generic array list passing on the string. So, okay, send the list items, which actually is to shade this with a new keyword. And also the array adapter as well, which is adapter. And uh, we have the private list view calling on, giving it a my list view identifier. Okay, uh, we have an uncreate method where we call on the super uncreate and also set our content view. To the activity underscore fab underscore example xml which i explained earlier and also we instantiate our tuba and we assign it to the id called uh tuba right there and we set the support action bar tuba all right now we have my list view whereby we also call on the list view id we cast on the list view to that we are going to do that to the adapter we didn't instantiate adapter here, but we instantiated this view already if you notice yeah okay but now we have to still instantiate our adapter. That's why we use a new keyword adapter, passing on the string generic, okay, to this particular Android our layout, calling on the simple list item, okay, list items, okay. I'll M my list item. We're gonna set an adapter to it and pass in the parameter adapter, right? That's fine. So let's look at something very very quickly. Are uh, we the floating action button FAB, okay? uh we assign we get it from the id fab okay uh we're gonna set an on click listener to this action body for what's gonna do so in this process we're going to add list item method okay uh which we'll be talking uh afterwards just a few steps from here so the snack bar will be called which is going to make up uh a view and in this particular world going to be shown the item added to the list based on the snack bar length long and also it's going to set an action which is going to be sit side by side you know which is going to be an undo and this undo is going to undo the unclick listener you know based on like a, a an undo or redo you know if you're very familiar with what processing when an undo is going to like revert back the change to its former position okay and now we're going to talk about two uh Methods the undo on click listener and the add list item method. Okay, let's look at the undo on click listener. What's going to happen when we click on undo? So, this list item is going to actually remove the list items based on the size of the last uh, imputed uh, uh, list, which is minus one. Okay, now the adapter is going to notify date set changed. Okay. And the snack bar is going to populate what after this has been done that the item has been removed okay and the set action to null okay that's fine now let's look at the add list item when you click on the uh floating button what is going to be added so it's just a simple date uh format we call on the date simple date format we're going to start with the new simple date format class and we're going to give it an object of date format so now it's going to be our minutes and seconds Okay, which is going to also be minutes, day, and year. Um, month, day, and year. Hour, minute, seconds, month, day, and year. Just based on the particular uh, time zone. And the local is the US uh, time uh, stamp. Okay, now this list items is going to, we're going to add this date format. Okay, with a new date uh, method. And now the adapter is going to be new. We're going to notify that it's set changed okay so in any click of the folding button is going to call on the add list item which we're going to populate the hour the minutes the second and also the month the day and the year okay we have the on create option menu which is there by be default and also also the op option item selected as when we need to inflate our menu and do some stuff with the menu but we're not going to that okay all right we've actually coded out the floating button and also the snack bar which is like uh a drawable from the bottom you know it's just uh, a modernized type of toast you know 
in the Android material design. So I would like to run this in my journey motion emulator. Want the refresh session? All right, we have our application. If you notice this yellow button, this is called the floating action button. Okay, so let's click on our floating action button and let's see what's going to be populated as a list item. All right, you click. Okay, if you notice, item added to list undo. Let's, okay, let's click on the undo. All right, if you notice it, it undo the second one and it you no know, populate item removed. All right, I was just not too fast to remove the first one. All right, let's try again. Okay, so let's undo it. All right, okay, item removed. So let's let's add up another item, which is going to be the date, um, the hour, the minute, and the second, and also the month, uh, the day, and the year. Okay, so the timestamp. All right. I hope you've been able to understand one or two things here. How to incorporate the floating button and also the snack bar. You know, so instead of using toast, don't use toast anymore. In Android Material, use the snack bar. Thank you very, very much, my good listeners, for hanging out with me throughout the session. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.